Hey, Flashpoint Army, are you looking for truth and news all in the spirit of faith? Well, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay connected. Not a part of the Flashpoint Army? Sign up for the latest email updates at govictory.com slash FP sign up and join us as we stand for truth and freedom. You took your knee and you prayed. Did you think all of this was in the back of your mind? Maybe somebody may not like this. Uh, was that ever in your mind, your thoughts? <laughs> Yeah, you got to be kidding me. I mean, something so simple as a 30 second prayer of being thankful for what the players just did on a football field. And that was going to become, you know, become this uh, nationwide thing. Are you kidding me? I'm just thanking God and ex exercising my rights as an American. It, it seems so simple to me. Yeah, I, I would think so. It's simple. Uh, but you, you were infringing on my rights because you were saying a quiet prayer. Yeah, it was crazy. It's ridiculous. So good. So tell us, uh, tell us the process. I want to hear from you personally. Y you find yourself fired. Uh, what were you thinking at that point? I really thought it was just going to be something that was just a huge misunderstanding. I mean, really, somebody just saying a prayer of thanks that that shouldn't be. Um, even newsworthy or, or anything anybody would ever get in trouble for. And I thought it was a big misunderstanding. And until it, the lawyers got involved for the school district, I, I thought this was just all going to blow over. And First Liberty Institute, they came in and said, hey, these are your rights as an American, which just it really just justified exactly what I was doing. So I never thought it would go this far. I never thought it would go to the Supreme Court. I, you know, I thought this was something we could do overnight. Uh, you know, by the next football game, I thought I'd be back on the football field thanking sure. God and, and helping my players out. It's so ridiculous to see this in America here in 2023. All right. So, Coach, uh, I got to know, how has this changed your life? What did the school <laughs> do when you came back? I wish they could say that they welcomed me back with open arms. The, the coaches, they, they were really good. I, I, had, I met with the head coach this spring when they rehired me and um, reinstituted me as a coaching staff. And he took me back. Um, and he, he's an all right guy. The school district, I wish it, uh, they, they took me with open arms. They said a lot of things. They didn't take any ownership over what happened. I just want to move on. I just want to move forward. I want my football players to be able to have a great season and the Bremerton Knights to be successful and those young men just to have a wonderful senior year. Yeah. Speaking of the team, uh, did they talk to you about it? You'd hear it from the kids? I, I hear from them all the time. I, it's it's so wonderful to, to sit there and listen to what's happening. Uh, I got guys that are, you know, getting married, having kids, uh, they're graduating, having second, um, you know, uh, degrees. It's so awesome to see these young men grow up. So um, they're all going to be there at the first game on September 1st. And I am so looking forward to putting my arms around him again and actually stepping back on the football field for the first time in nine football seasons. It's going to be crazy. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, so you've got a book, uh, Average Joe, uh, the uh, inspirational true story of Coach Joe Kennedy. Tell us about the book. You know, I, I wish I could say, wow, it's just, a, you know, such a fascinating story. To me, it's just my life, but it's just really just an average guy just like me who, who just stood up for what he believed in and exercising rights as an American. And I hope that it encourages everybody that if a guy like me could stand up and make it this far and, and make this much of an impact on Americans, everybody else has the same rights. And yeah, everybody yeah. that stood with me, I'm going to stand with you guys. So hopefully it don't inspire everybody. It's a great love story of me and my wife and my whole growing up in Bremerton High School football. Yeah. I mean, all right, Stephanie, let me bring you back in here. Uh, you know, when we, this whole case, what were some of the challenges uh, First Liberty had to overcome with this case? Well, the biggest one was the legal precedent that had been in place for nearing 50 years. So we, it was called the, the lemon test or the endorsement test. And this was a judge created test um, basically out of thin air um, that really encouraged school districts across the country to be very hostile toward religion because of these uh, bad precedents from the from the mid 1900s they uh, so many school districts especially school district attorneys sought to just censor private speech of students 
private speech of teachers um, if they thought it was religious. And so now the Supreme Court a year ago in Coach Kennedy's case clarified that this was absolutely an improper interpretation of the Establishment Clause and governments cannot censor speech just because it's religious. Yeah. All right, Rick, let me bring you in here. This was uh, this was a big deal. Uh, why is this such a big deal for Huge. a religious liberty case? Well, first of all, hats off uh, to First Liberty. They just keep winning, man. I mean, they're doing what Donald Trump said. Now, we're not tired of winning yet, but First Liberty's had, it, uh, I think, four cases now at the Supreme Court in the last two years. Uh, winning, 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 and they're not just little cases. These are huge cases because they're tearing down these strongholds, exactly as Stephanie said, these these made-up judicial theories and tests, the lemon test, substantive due process. I mean, all this stuff was created by these people that could not get what they wanted through the legislature, couldn't get laws passed to do it, so they made up these theories to do it through the courts. But it took a champion like Joe to be willing to stand up and say, I'm willing to defend my rights. I'm willing to live with the consequence. Every citizen out there watching right now, that could be you and your community that needs right. to stand up for your rights and for our liberty. But thankfully, you stood the test, Joe. And uh, Stephanie, please tell Kelly and the whole team there, we are so thankful because yes, this is are. now opening the door for relitigating all of these other religious liberty cases. We're going to have more religious liberty in America in the next 10 years than we've had in my lifetime. Yeah, amen. amen. Let me bring in uh, Pastor Hank. Uh, you know, this is a this is what a wonderful yes. story. You know, we've we, yes. <laughs> we've been talking about a lot of bad stories over the last few years. It sure <laughs> is nice to have a win. This is a massive win. Yeah. What do you think? Well, first of all, I agree with Rick on that. Listen, we're going to see incredible uh, things begin to happen in the United States of America, especially through our courts and through God using just people like average Joe, he said. And here's why. You know, I was thinking about his beautiful story about how he stood. And it reminds me of the days of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They refused to bow. And so really what they were doing is they were standing for what was right. And you know what it did? It affected the king or it affected the government to where he changed the legislation or the decree. And I believe what we just saw with this coach and what happened is we're going to continue to see God come down and we're going to see things change. And so my point is, lastly, is when it looks like that we are being attacked or it's a waste of time or it's not going to come in our favor, if we stand, it can absolutely change history forever. And that's exactly what we're seeing take place right now. It is. All right, uh, Coach, how can we stay in touch with you and see what's happening with you? Well, Coach Kennedy, uh, CoachJoeKennedy.com, and I know it's pretty original. Um, you can find me on Facebook. You find me everywhere. I'm the average guy, so I am always around. And, you know, stay tuned. September 1st, Bremerton Knights football, and we're going to be out there, and I'm going to be able to, you know, take a knee and thank God for every American that's prayed and for everybody that's played football on that night. Right. Amen. And you know what? I have a feeling there may be a camera or two that night at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple. <laughs> uh, all right, before we go, Pastor Hank, would you pray for uh, Coach here as we go forward? Sure. I love football. So, hey, Father, we thank you for this man who stood. And may he represent to others in this great country who are standing and feeling as though that God, that they're under some kind of attack or some kind of unfair persecution. May his story be a testimony that rises in this land that brings the justice and the righteousness of God for not only this time, but for generations to come. I pray that you continually bless this man for his stance, bless his team. And I also pray that you would continue to use him powerfully to encourage others other coaches and others to begin to call on the name of the Lord and to include you, God, in this country that gives us the freedom and the right to pray and to talk with you. So thank you for your hand of blessing upon him and upon this great country. Thank you, Lord, for what you did. And we celebrate you in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Coach, thank Amen. you for coming by. We'll let you go. Stephanie, congrats to uh, First Liberty. Thank you for all that you guys stand for. Keep us informed. We are your friends and your champions of what you guys do. Thank Amen. you. 
Thank you. All right. The Flashpoint Live Truth and Freedom Tour is back in Fort Worth, Texas for a historic return to begin the Southwest Believers Convention. Informative and take action. Here's the steps. Here's what we need you to do. You're the Flashpoint Army. Go to it. Join us Sunday, July 30th at the Fort Worth Convention Center. For more information, visit us online at govictory.com slash FP Live. Admission is free. Register today.